I was admitted to the hospital after an acute onset of uh, chronic kidney injury. Initially, they wanted to, uh, to test me for the secondary conditions that cause SGS. Uh, so when those uh, tests be, uh, came back negative, that's when we decided to move forward and do a renocyte genetic test. And that's when it popped that I had two variations of the APOL1 gene. I initially felt very devastated with uh, the doctor walking into my hospital room. I was not confident that it was something I could bounce back from. He did not leave me with that confidence. My husband actually uh, explained more to me about APOL1. Uh, when I was first diagnosed, he definitely dived in deep and researched online via medical journals. When I got diagnosed with FSGS, the option of taking a genetic test was not really mentioned by my nephrologist uh, at first. With my husband's inquiries, uh, as an advocate for me. He pretty much was like, hey, you know, this is a, it, it, this would be a good idea since we do not know the primary cause of this particular disease. And I have an inclination that it could possibly be APO, APOL1. The APOL1 gene is a gene that occurs in everyone. It helps with your immunities. Honestly, I was relieved to understand what caused this particular type of kidney disease. For me, healthcare is really a taboo subject, especially in the African-American community. To this date, I really do not know what ailments my parents even have. Um, it seems like something that's not very, um, it's not on the table to be talked about. So for me, getting a genetic test, I think is key to just, exp to, to understanding your general healthcare. And, also, with it not being talked about in certain communities, it's also not actively pursued for primary health care, for preventative health care. My conversations with other people, especially African-American friends of mine, I was like, you know, this is what you should look out. If you ever have frothy urine, definitely go get that checked out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but on the personal side of things, knowing that I everyone has the APOL1 gene, I actually asked my parents and my siblings to go get tested. It has affected my journey to be more of an advocate for people as far as getting genetic testing done. It's made me more aware of how chronic disease actually really affects someone's life. I have more hope that eventually one day the medical system, the healthcare system will be able to, at birth, provide better genetic testing throughout a person's lifetime.